Hello, everyone. Um, I've been thinking a lot lately. <clears throat> okay, well, I, I've been thinking very little lately about the level of anti-Lebanon vitriol uh, emanating from uh, uh, the Hezbollah uh, social media, uh, from the Hezbollah um, uh, stratosphere, um, uh, uh, elements uh, apostatizing Lebanese in the main Lebanese Christians um, opposed to dragging Lebanon into a confrontation with Israel. Um, Hezbollah social media army is adamant about uh, um, dragging Lebanon into a confrontation with Israel uh, and, and um, um, impugning, denigrating um, um, the, uh, Lebanese leaderships, especially young leaders who are um, advocating or calling for uh, the Lebanese state recovering its sovereignty and, and pulling Lebanon um, out of uh, Hezbollah's and, and Iran's orbit. Um, the usual victim uh, of such uh, vitriol um, um, have been um, candid, uh, unequivocal, uh, straight-talking young politicians. Sami Jmail is one of those examples um, of young politicians, truth-tellers and patriots who don't mince words, who are in effect channeling the average Lebanese sentiments about uh, Hezbollah and uh, their domination of Lebanon. Um, channeling what many Lebanese are expressing uh, in secret, sometimes under uh, borrowed uh, names and, and, and uh, social media avatars, um, voicing their frustration with the fact uh, that Hezbollah is an Iranian militia, a colonial occupation army uh, that happens to speak Lebanese, but that has uh, not an iota of Lebanese feelings or sentiments um, uh, in it, and that has uh, Lebanon as the least of its worries. And so um, those uh, attacking those who are calling out Hezbollah, um, uh, since they cannot um, attack the reasoning of those calling out Hezbollah, they attack those persons um, uh, directly, um, um, in in the words of what I'm what I'm terming this this intervention, qui ne peut attaquer le raisonnement attaque le raisonneur, a famous phrase by uh, Paul Valéry. Um, so that's that's what's going on basically. You cannot attack the reasoning, so you attack the person uh, who is doing the reasoning. Um, one of uh, my favorite terms of abuse. Uh, that are being hurled uh, around at at many uh, Lebanese speaking out against Hezbollah, but especially at Sami Jmail, uh, is that he is the president of a fascist, some say even Nazi, right-wing Christian nationalist party that was founded by his right-wing Christian nationalist Nazi grandfather, uh, Pierre Jmail, and other such um, uh, nonsense, revealing not only vile... Uh, negationist instincts and tactics, but also revealing an appalling, appalling historical hygiene and understanding of history, and actually plain historical vandalism, uh, uh, throwing around terms such as right wing and Nazi and fascist without even uh, knowing their meanings. So, first things first, two things actually I wanted to talk about uh, today very quickly. If anything, um, it is Hezbollah that is the very definition of the classic right-wing, conservative, negationist, theocratic, totalitarian, fascist formation. Hezbollah is a group of genocidal, totalitarian goons, groupthink enforcers uh, who masquerade as paragons of righteousness. They call themselves... Um, Ashraf Hezb 
or Ashraf Alam, the, the, the most honorable people in Lebanon, the most honorable political party in Lebanon. Well, Hezbollah is not a political party. It is the force spéciale. It is the, 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 uh, the basically uh, a, a proxy army of the Iranian uh, occupation of Lebanon. So this is first. Secondly, um, although one of the founding fathers of the uh, Kata'ib party, Sami Ismail's party, um, which is meriting the epithet Nazi, right, Pierre Ismail, um, the grandfather, uh, was actually one of a group of five founding fathers of the political party. He was not the founder of the political party. He was one of a group. Uh, the group included uh, intellectuals, and uh, politicians at the time in 1936. Among them were, was uh, Shafiq Nasif, uh, Sharl Hello, who became uh, president uh, of Lebanon um, in, I think, um, I think his term ended in 1970. So Sharl Hello was one of the founder of the Kate party. Many Lebanese don't know that. Uh, Emil Yared was one of the um, uh, the founders also, and uh, George Nakash, who was a journalist and, and, and public intellectual. None of these five people could be described as right-wing uh, thinkers. Uh, if anything, uh, the Kata'e party um, at its founding in 1936 was licensed by the Lebanese Republic. Hezbollah, by the way, is not a licensed political party in Lebanon. It is not a legal uh, political formation in Lebanon. And that sort of reinforces what Sami Jmail was trying to say that, you know, Hezbollah is a, essentially an occupation uh, uh, army, the force special of the Iranian uh, colonial occupation of Lebanon. So when the Kateb uh, were founded in 1936, they were licensed by the Lebanese Republic as a social democratic party, right? So so-called leftists, uh, meaning uh, feudal and, and tribal reactionaries like the PLO, like the Druze Socialist Party in Lebanon and other bona fide uh, Arabist conservatives uh, have loved uh, hurling the epithet right wing or fascist uh, at this essentially social democratic secular party, um, uh, the Kate'e party, which uh, uh, brought to Lebanon incidentally such fascist concepts, I'm using fascist here um, uh, sarcastically, it was the Kate'ib who brought such fascist concepts to Lebanon as secularism, uh, democratic principles, such as the separation of church and state, uh, multiple power centers, an independent judiciary, regular peaceful transfers of power, free elections, free press, and the like. Uh, it was the Kate'ib who brought and pushed for gender equality in Lebanon, universal suffrage. Uh, Lebanese women could uh, vote and run for government office in Lebanon before their Swiss counterparts were finally allowed to do so in 1972. And this is thanks to the fascist Kata'e party. Uh, also the fascist uh, Kata'e party, also known as the Social Democratic Party, brought Lebanon the 40-hour work week. Uh, they brought Lebanon um, uh, paid sick leave, uh, paid holidays, a social welfare system, what <laughs> used to be called in Lebanon, Domain uh, Ishtimei. They brought social security, the Shaykhucha, those were all terms, those of you who are, you know, from my generation are familiar with these, with these terms, I'm sure they no longer exist today because, um, because Lebanon is under occupation. Uh, but those terms were brought into the Lebanese political and social lexicon by the Kate'e party. All this to say that despite their many failings as a political party and the Kate'ib had many failings. Uh, they always stood for an independent, sovereign, democratic, secular Lebanese Republic at peace with itself and at peace with its neighbors. And yes, aloof from the Arab-Israeli conflict. And yes, standing as an example, an imperfect, no doubt, an imperfect example, but still standing as an example for regional peace and dialogue 
and standing sentry against the subjugation of Lebanon to regional and cross-national interests. Uh, in the Lebanese parliament, uh, the Kata'ib uh, have always stood against political confessionalism. Uh, in socio-political terms, the Kata'ib always stood left of center and advocated for order, discipline, peace, and secularism. Uh, so please uh, stop referring to this party as a uh, fascist, uh, no less a Nazi party. Cheers.